Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Masquerada Songs and Shadows. And our list of allies grows thin, as Elrond would say. A lot of our friends have been dying left and right, including Ven and his wife in the last episode with the burning down of the Astiguary. But we still have a council meeting to deal with, and we still have an army to build to go against Lucia, so let's go ahead and get to it. Before we head that direction, though, we do have some skill points to spend. Three. And it looks like this will be relatively easy. We just have to go through our little jumps here. Increases flood radius by three meters. Awesome. I didn't even see what Cicero's was. What we got there. Duration by three seconds, radius by 60, and damage by one. Huzzah. Now, Tiziana. Caster heals for 20% of their maximum health when an enemy is hit by Creed. Ooh. Creed heals nearby allies for 20% of their maximum health. Let's go ahead and do that. A little bit of uh, supplement heals. Amadea. Innervate can also be cast on allies. Outstanding. And what about you, Vasco? There we go. Now, we also have some stuff from Codex and Case Notes. And uh, we only have one entry left for the Maribus family. I'm going to go ahead and read this. Some losses cannot be scribed. Some pains cannot be chronicled. It is not for a lack of will, but simply because by their nature and their freshness, the feat is impossible. Perhaps one day I'll be able to speak of this with candor. Perhaps that day will never come. Whatever the case may be, for now I cannot write of this anymore. I simply cannot, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I haven't the strength to preserve his legacy in words here. I'm sorry that I am failing him even now in his death, as I failed him in his life. I'm sorry that I cannot give to him what he gave to me. It frustrates me and it saddens me, and I'm sorry that this is all I can give. Goodbye, then. Like I said, I don't know how much more Cicero can take. Now let's see if the case notes can... 59th year of the 8th Canticle. 45th Ruvida. I am keeping this record because this is the only way to prove that I retain my sanity. Yes, write down your thoughts. Validate your mind. Laurentia would be proud, indeed, yes. Yesterday, while I was in the Conocenza, I saw something. I swear by it. I swear. A shadow. A figure. A being. Something I, I don't know. It's been bothering me ever since, and I feel like it's haunting my poor mind. Better to put it down on paper and let it haunt that instead, I say. Oh, this is Razatov's journal. Ooh. Ages, I saw it. Again. The day I was scouring the Conocenza for information on the Trehor. I, I could feel it then, watching me. Just watching. I returned to my room and tried to shake off the feeling, but then I looked in the mirror and there it was. In the mirror! It was a heart-stopping shock if ever there was one. After I finally managed to calm my wits, I tried to touch it, but it vanished. I think it's absolutely ridiculous writing this down, but I, I don't think it's out to hurt me. I don't want to test that. No, I do not indeed. I don't know. Ages. I don't, I don't know. I, I think I'm go- I can't believe this. I just- I spoke to it. In Dementica. In the Cleaver. It told me that it's Fae. That it's Dementicate. That there was a civil war. I, I don't know. Write down your thoughts. Validate your mind. Laurentia would not be happy with how this has turned out. No, she would not. I have admitted it. I am insane. There is no doubt about it. No doubt indeed. I have seen this creature, Fay. It is real. It is real, and I am insane. The only consolation in this mess is that I have a lead, yes. It visits me every night to tell me things. About masquerines, about Fay, about the Mendicate and civil wars. It's a lot to take in, and I wish I would just sit with me and tell me everything, but it seems to tire easily. I will not yet 
It will not yet tell me where it returns when it needs rest, though. Hopefully it will be more forthcoming in the following days. Hopefully. Finally, it is done with its tail. Civil wars, traitorous zealots, hidden artifacts. Ages. I'm still reeling from it all, but it tells me there's little time. Apparently it is not the only one of its kind. There are others out there. Searching. I must be careful indeed. Of course. Of course there was a reason. He took me to the throne today. Showed me one of the artifacts. I couldn't believe that's what it looked like. So small. So innocent. But yet so powerful. He said that he made contact with me because he needed someone to look after the artifacts. To ensure that the Mara didn't get their hands on it. I was already halfway to discovering them and he thought I'd make a good steward. I told him otherwise, told him that he's got it completely wrong, thinking that I'd be a good steward. I'm not courageous like Tristan, or a fighter like my brother. I can barely even defend myself against simple Bolgia, much less whoever or whatever else is looking out for these secrets. I even offered to fight him just to prove my point, but, well, he was adamant that I bear the burden and that I do so alone. I had hoped that he'd been a bit more truthful earlier, but given the fact that he's growing weaker, I suppose it's forgivable. I've accepted his request and he's begun to tell me how to keep the artifacts from the Pale One, but he could tell I was distracted. Of course I was distracted. What did he think I'd feel after all of this? Calm? He said we'd talk about it again some other day. On another note, I've started composing something for Cal. I don't want to think about it, but if something happens... Uh, no. No. No bad thoughts. He's taught me how to create Fey. He tells me he won't be able to shade the knife for much longer. I'm, I'm trying to get someone I can trust to replace Valis. She's a great custodian, but I'd rather be safe. Yes, administrative things like this are difficult, especially when she was recommended her position by Lucia. Well, whatever it is, the heart seems safe enough in the Tessero for now. He likes to remind me that it's the knife I need to worry about, but... This is it. I've got all the equipment to create Fay all set up. Yes. He's finally told me what all his intentions are, and I think it's a fine plan. Laurentia said writing things helps down helps you remember them, so... The Pale One is quite a bit like him. Form shifters of the Fay. It's easy for them to look for things. Just turn Ithril and the whole world is basically theirs. Fortunately, they can't see or move into spaces occupied by other Fae. He said it had something to do with the energies and all that, but I didn't inquire further. No. He told me to create Fae so that I could keep the knife hidden. It's too dangerous here, what with him fading and all. So, create Fae, keep the knife close to the Fae, and it'll be safe. That's it. Sounds like a solid enough plan, yes. It's hard to believe something so small and innocent could be the key to destroying something so eternal and powerful. I look at the knife and all I can think is how I wouldn't know what it was even if I tripped on it. Well, on another note, I finished the song for Cal. Sang it myself, even. I don't think I'm the best singer, but I think he'll appreciate it better. Cal's always been so sentimental. Pity father and mother never saw it that way. I'm writing a lot. A long entry, this one is. Like I don't want the day to end. I don't know. First I sing my own song for Cal, and then I pack everything away, and now I can't stop writing. He tells me not to worry, but I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that something's going to... I'll write again. After I set the Fey up, keep the knife hidden. I'll write another entry. Yes. And then we'll talk about protecting the heart and seed. In the meantime, I'll leave this here. There's more to write indeed, but... No, no, no. No buts. There's more to write indeed. And I'll write about it tomorrow. Yes. I'll write about it tomorrow. That's some good writing, guys. Okay. Just gotta focus. And more lore? Zor. The last country to establish trade with Ombre is the nation of Zor. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh. Rune. So now we're learning about all the all the other countries. Well, that's awesome. Vegilus. I could have sworn we've had this one already. Oh, there you go, lore hunters. I think I've done my fill of reading for the day. Everything's clear here. I'm still really curious. We gotta check on Damien here before too much longer. And... okay. Is that where we're heading? I, actually, I don't actually remember. There's a sigh. I guess we're about to find out. Ah, uh, the infirmary. And we'll talk to Damien and break the bad news so we can start the psychological trauma as well as the physical. And look at that prick. I'm so sorry. I doubt he can hear you. Oh, now is not the time. Look at me. If you've ever needed a reason to gloat, I have nothing to say to you. I do. Will you do a shamed man a favor? I'd like not for my life to end with me shouting across a room. I can't hear you. You'll have to speak up. The crown is waiting for me. They can spare a short moment. What do you want? I have done foul things in my life. To get my title, my rank. I have sacrificed so much. Of things that were mine to sacrifice. And also of things that were not. But I did it all for a reason, Cicero. Always in the interests of the city. I need you to understand that. Now I am fading. I might have survived the ordeal at the registry. But I am old. Even healing hands cannot reverse the toll of time. Say what you must. The registry is lost. The White Spire has fallen. Everything that I worked so hard to build up, gone. Just like that. And in its wake, all I can hear is a question. Was I wrong? Through all the years you've known me, watched me give up everything that I had for the city. Family, lovers, friends. I need to know. Was it all worth it? Please, Cicero, grant a dying man his wish. Goodbye, Avestus. <sighs> Ooh, cold-blooded. He was wanting some legitimacy for everything that he had done. He was going to the wrong person for absolution. Okay, there's Avestus's entry, and I believe that is his last one. There you go. And finally, the last one for the... Damien still lives. Oh, we forgot one for Livia, too. Okay. Well, friends and foes are dropping like flies. Now we have to go back to uh, where we were previously. That was the entrance to our chambers. Now it's time for the crown, round two. The Echoing Plains. It seems like we're just getting a bunch of this stuff, like, right off the bat. And the fact that we're filling up so many of our entries means we're probably getting near the end of the game, I would think? I am not sure.
There you go, lore hunters. And this one's a bit of a long one for the Echoing Plains. But I understand. If I had the time in this series, I would probably sit here and read all of this and continue butchering, or <laughs> butchering English, spoken and written. Alrighty. There you go. It's politic time. He didn't sigh this time. That's a good sign. So, that's that then? That'll prevent us from being changed into masquerades. If what we suspect is true, yes. And if it's not, then we're dead either way. Enough waiting in such red waters, please. Zilia's right. It will soon be time to march, and we do not have heart to spare for foul thoughts. But do we have enough? The spire is practically impenetrable. It'll be like scaling a jagged cliff. There are ways about it, Rex, I assure you. I am not speaking of tactical maneuverings, Valencio. I'm speaking of sheer numbers. From the reports, the force that we're up against comprises faction upon faction of mask runners. Do we know just exactly what we're up against? We're outnumbered, aren't we? The Masked Runners are strong in number, yes. But we are trained in the Medea, and they are not. That has always been the advantage of the Masquerada, and it will be what wins us this battle, too. And what if... Uh... Luminary, if there are any concerns that you have... What if she's right? She? This Lucia woman that you've spoken of, and the Cataclysm. I mean, if we're going so far as to believe everything that you've told us about that stone that you've got there, about what happened at the Hall of Songs, who's to say she isn't right? Your words are bordering on treacherous, Savile. Perhaps if I had some assurance that... Mirabas is dead, and the Hall of Songs has withered. Is that not assurance enough that Lucia cares not for our culture? For what defines us as a people? Is that the sort of leader that you wish to follow? I... I suppose you're right. Forget I ever said anything. Please. Perhaps... Amadea? Cicero, the Dactites have moved. What? The Labora scout saw them. A group has left the spire. Prepare the defenses. Not here. The Whispering Streets. Why? I don't know, but it was not a small dispatch. Well, then we have to stop them, won't we? Good. That's just what I was... No. What? We're not going. Why? This is an opportunity. They're weakened. Their numbers are out. We must strike. They are your brother's people, Cicero. My brother is dead. And so is Razatov and Lysandra and Mirabas and Ven. We're not going to the streets. Cicero, please! Leave us. We have things to discuss. Cicero, what has gotten into you? We need to make plans. What we need is to... Do not waste the lives of the Melicate, Zelia. They have bought us an opportunity. We are going to use it. Agreed. We aren't in a position to go around helping other masked runners when we have enough who are trying to kill us. If the Crown would report their individual strengths, we can formulate a plan from there. We'll be just a moment. I can't say I blame Cicero. That's your opportunity to attack the Spire. Amadea told us what happened. Why aren't we going? There's no time. No time for what, Cicero? Your brother's people? They c c could help us. No. We stand a better chance now. Please, what has gotten into you? We have a job to do. The city is at stake and... He's... Oh! Sisiana. Yowza. Do you 
feel that? That is pain, Gavar. Wrap your mind around it. Be familiar with it. Now see. You are still alive. You can survive this. You must. I tried. I stayed. And it wasn't enough. They died because of me. Mira. Then. Livia. Because I was too slow. Because I was too stupid. <clears throat> Lucia warned me this would happen. She told me the others would pay. And they have. How can I live with myself? We'll find a way. T together. All of us. Now come here. I'm sorry, Marshal. I think I might have gotten some blood on your armor. I think I might leave it there. It's sure to be worth quite a bit when we win this war. <laughs> some tough love. There. All done. Where is she? Out in the field. I should go. Thank you. All of you. Go, Cicero. Thing about it is... I was like, he needed to get that out of his system for sure, but if a huge detachment of Dactites have left the Spire, that is a perfect opportunity to attack. But to be fair, I could tell in Cicero's voice, he was actually starting to sound like um, the older guy, Aventus. He was going to become the thing that he hated, becoming overly practical. Now we had a new mask. Was that the... Conjures a Maelstrom. Oh no, we got uh, Tiziana's last one. Coats the caster in fire, reducing all damage they take by 25% for 10 seconds. Ooh, I, I actually like rebirth a little bit more. So I think we're going to go ahead and just stick with that. And I can't believe they're coming together again. Other than the altars, I mean. You sound disappointed that they're uniting. The last time they came together was for the Bright War, and that only made things worse for the Quantadani. Honestly, sister, I have a feeling things are going to be a lot different this time around. <sighs> I think maybe you're right. But, sir, you're needing something? I did. Engravings. We've got new stuff here. Yeah, there's cooldowns. What was that final? 40% damage and 5% proc chance. Good grief. Well, I guess what we could do here is save that. Do all the damages. See if there's any lore or anything we need to chat. Everyone's camped outside the ruins, getting ready for the... all the what-have-you. Tasty lore! The Opal Guild is regarded by many to be the most lavish of the guilds, for they are indeed the wealthiest. I have a feeling that they may actually swerve us, if you were... that his tone was just a little too duplicitous. Guess we'll find out when it comes time for the actual battle. Okay, well... I guess we better go ahead and get to this. Hopefully Amadea doesn't decide to finish the job Tiziana started. Double check one more time, maybe we'll get some info on any of the other guilds? Nope. Now let's take our medicine. And apologize. Hey. Well, I 
You're just going to stand there, or are we going? What? To the Whispering Streets. Where else? I knew you'd come back. Really? Come on. Let's go. Okay. That was not nearly as, uh... A conflict as I thought it was going to be. He actually, uh... He handled that pretty well. So I'll tell you what, guys. I think I am going to go ahead and end the episode here. And when we get back, we will get in the carriage and head to the Whispering Streets and see if we can save that faction of Mask Runners who may be able to help us actually hit the White Spire itself. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.